mate. Cheers, mate. parked up and have a cracking night. It's a shame you can't make it tomorrow mate. It's uh, one hell of a park up it is. Right Blake. It's always got to spoil it isn't it? Sorry. Sorry. He's alright. Not a bad little view. We have been here before like I said with Matty, Brendan and him. So I'll have a look in there. Uh, I'll look in Dave's van a bit later on, but we're just having a non-alcoholic drink, just in case we get moved on. Um, look at that. It's just beautiful. <laughs> exactly, mate. <laughs> right, we're at the pitch where we are possibly stopping tonight. Depends what happens if we get moved on. There is a sign that says no overnight camping just there, but that's, I presume, for this side, because obviously the grass and that gets wrecked. You know, mate. But on here, there is nothing. There's no signs to say, oh, no overnight camping. anywhere so we think we're going to be here we have stopped here before but obviously the more places people can stop at more people get peed off and people start complaining so but what can you do without these views i'm going to bang the drone up in a minute i've just been uh that's not my van just been organizing my van out last time you see this van was when dave Help me put um, new batteries and some electrics in. Thanks to Dave. Did have a Kallax in, which has been ripped out. And I had no bed. There was no carpet on the walls. There was no carpet on the floor. The bed was just to the centre. It was a fixed bed that was already put in, which had been screwed to the floor and everything else. But anyway, I'm going to show you now what it looks like excuse the mess i've got no units at the minute so everything's in boxes and bags and whatever else but this is the new setup so far so as you can see it's all been carpeted i've got a new bed with storage and that's a pull out bed Ooh. all the windows have been scraped and got rid of all the spray paint all the wiring's been done with Dave where I'm getting a new unit that's going to go here and then that battery and that uh, fuse board and the cut off will all go in the new unit she's going to come to about here 
something else is going to go just at the side of the unit and then i'm hoping to have the toilet here but more likely just be a bucket and a bag because it's only a small van i can't do one of these big posh toilets like some people have yeah dad's got a posh shitter so and then down this side here is going to be another unit which is coming to about just the archway there but Dave says, why don't I get something that comes out a little bit further? So, as usual, I have looked at Marketplace. I have found something for £15, which does come to about there. So, I'll see what happens. So, for you who have followed me for a while, um, know that I do love a bargain. I get so many things off Facebook for literally next to nothing. The bed comes in two parts. And I got that bed for £100 which I brought with my birthday money. It was my birthday a few weeks ago. Yeah, 39, big four hour next year. And we're gonna go for a big camp, I think. We'll sort something out for that. But anyway, bed was an absolute bargain. The carpet I had off the mom and stepdad to fit in there. It is sectioned and pieced because it wasn't wide enough, but you can't see any of it see it's, it's it's spot on i've got to get some curtains that fit into the rails just here and then i'm going to shut but i mean just look at that look at the view at the back and basically i've got views all the way around with all the windows happy happy tezza so the last time i was here with brendan and matty and dave Brendan says to me, I'm getting a van, I'm getting a van. And I did, got one. Granted, it's not a big van, it's not a new van, but I'm doing exactly what Dave's gonna be doing in his, in mine, and I've done it as cheap as I can, because I'm only on postman wages. So I'm sorry videos haven't been come full, full flowing. I've um, had a lot going on at home. I have a lot going on with my mental health as well. Um, moved house, which has been stressful as anything. But hopefully, Tezza is back. I'm hoping this is going to be the start of many more videos and adventures to come. So I am going to try and get a lot more videos out regular. But again, these views are perfect. It looks like it's piddling down over Shrewsbury. But over here, it's spot on. Here he is. <laughs> Tease oh. in. <laughs> he's posh, eh? Look, he's got pizza and duck spring rolls. What a concoction, though. Hey, that'll do, yeah? it? An Italian chink. <laughs> so, yeah, Dave's getting his tea on. I'm going to get mine on now. I've got all straight. I don't think there's anything else to show you. If I do remember anything, I'll show you. interrupt the video i just want to show you these products that i've got from mud daddy previously i did a walk with the missus and she pushed me over in the mud um and i was covered in head to toe in the mud obviously it was a fixed video but mud daddy had provided a bottle and this bottle is for cleaning your dogs bikes sup boards Boots, anything really. You can even possibly have a show of them. And to fill the bottle up, all you gotta do is unscrew the top and put the water in there. Do not put boiling hot water in it because obviously it is plastic. Um, and do not over pressure it. It will explode if you once you push on this because of the pressure being really hot. This bottle comes in 
four different colours. You've got the green, the blue, the orange and the red. And they all come in different litres as well. This one's an eight litre, which is plenty big enough for what I'm going to be needing. To go on the bottle, you've got one of these insulated pouches. And this fits on like so. That fits on there like so. It's a nice snug fit. And there's no room for movement. And also, still take the top off from the front. This will keep your warm water warm for longer. I've got an extra brush, which on the top has got a dispenser, which you can put all your cleaning fluids in, and that will clean your bike or your boots, whichever you want to be doing with them, or your dog, or your sup board, or whatever. And again, with the pressure, once you've pumped on there, all you do is just push that lever and then the water will come out of there. So you've got this brush, which is bigger for cleaning bigger dogs or bigger areas that you want to clean. And again, that just screws onto the top of there. And last but not least, I have the Warm Daddy. Now this is a fleeced jacket with a hood and you plug your power bank into it. And I'll give heat from the rods at the back of this, this hoodie. This comes in multiple colours and it is really toasty and warm. I wore it last night when I was on this camp and it was absolutely spot on. So I had no problems in that. I was nice and toasty. So if you're interested in any of these products, go check out Mud Daddy's website. There's a link in the description below. And back to the video. That's a man that's content with his van. Loving life, mate, at the minute. He's loving it. Have you shown him the view? Oh, I've, I've showed him loads of times. I want to show him again. Look at that. It's ace, isn't it? I've got it quite better than Dave at the minute for where my van's part look. I'll just look out the back window. It's like the BBC out the back window, isn't it? Like country yeah. Mile. Look at that. So anyway, we're uh, drinking again. It's alcohol free because we might get moved on. We're not sure. So I'm going to get tea on. And tonight's choice for tea is tortellini. Now, the last time I cooked tortellini here, it landed on the floor. Because <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm going to ask everybody who wants some food. Taste, go on, taste, go on. So me being me, I was like, oh, okay, I'll do it as a friend. And my meal end up on the floor. So anyway, I'm going to cook my first meal in the van. So I've got the gas stove. I've got the kitchen worked up at the minute. I've got my tortellini. I've got water and I've got gas. So let's see what they spring. Oh yeah, and I did ask for cheese. I just forgot my cheese. Sorry. So, yeah, I want it with cheese, but I'm going to get some goat's cheese maybe. Or some sheep cheese. Anyway, I'm going to cook the tea, bring it back later. Whoop, whoop. And that's tea, which is my tortellini with mascarpone sauce. And Dave's giving me some duck rolls. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Anyway, that is tea smashed. Them duck spring rolls was nice. And still on the first Bex. Um, nothing else really to tell you, really. Just chilling in my van. Not a car, not cramped up. Just chilling in my van. Look at it. I did all this with his help. Brendan saying last week, or was it the week before on one of his videos, how he feels quite accomplished that he's done everything on his on his own with help from Steve and, and Dave. Um, which is such a nice feeling being in something that you've kind of 
done yourself. I mean, this is all properly insulated, sound editing, vapor barriered, everything, it's all done. So hopefully it's gonna be nice and toasty now. Still yet to get the diesel eater, but that will be on its way towards the winter. I'm not going to say anything, it's fine. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, you can tell them I've got a diesel eater, mate. <laughs> Plumbed it in last weekend. He's got a diesel eater. <laughs> so, I hope these windows are double glazed rather than the uh, the car one. <laughs> but yeah, so it's good. I've got enough blankets and, and whatever to keep me warm tonight. I'm going to be fine. As you can see, that sun is setting like a butte. Uh, I've just done the drown footage. <laughs> Now I'm going to wash up. <laughs> it's been, uh, I've been productive. Um, yeah, I've got to get, like I said earlier, I've got to get some blinds, some curtains. Basically, it's the same curtains as what Dave's got. So, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Might be cheaper, might get on a Facebook marketplace or something. But yeah, um, so I've had to cover all the windows up, so I am sorted. I've had to bodge these up because there's sliding windows, so I haven't been able to... Uh... Oops, off, mate. Cheers, mate. It's a new bottle out now. It's been used so much tonight. There you oh, go, square. What a man. Look. That's £2.98 off eBay. Cheers. Cheers, kiddo. Anyway, I'm going to wash up and then I'm going to get my coat in there on because it's, it's getting slightly chilly. Thank you to the wife for this uh, bake or tart. It's going to get smashed. Ugh. All right, peeps, that's it. We are done for the night. Dave's just about to go to sleep. Well, not sleep, he's going to go to bed. He's going to be watching himself a film. I'm going to get myself in there and I'm going to get the boxing on. I'm hoping it's fine. It's half past, half past nine. Um, just had another camper van just past us. We thought it was the Ranger, so we was kind of just like waiting to be told to go home. Um, but yeah, camper van's done over there. So he's parked up the top where Richard and uh, Dave stopped a few months ago. So yeah, it's been an absolutely cracking night. Sorry, there's not been much recording. We've been just having a catch up, a proper catch up, not being together and doing jobs we've had a proper catch up and a good chat and it's great it's been uh, it's been a brilliant night so um yeah we're gonna hit the sack and i will see you lot tomorrow morning Look at that. As I always say, it's free. Oh, great night's sleep. Set like a log. Um, didn't get to wash the boxing because I just, as soon as I hit the bed, I just went pff, straight out. But that, look at that. That is just beautiful. It even makes my van look nice. But yeah, just have to wake Dave up just to show him this as well because I don't miss any. But uh, yeah, good night, good catch up with Dave. Um, yeah, just a good all round night. So I'm going to get me a coffee on the go. I'm going to watch that. Poke his head right the way up. Right, that's it, we're done. We're uh, just sitting here now, just looking. Just can't get over, look at the view. That's at the back of my van. I get to see that every time I look out there. But anyway, I'm gonna sign off. Sorry, it's not been a great video, but I've needed to get out with this man here. He's, uh, he's just showing his van off as well. Oh, he's got a 
got his frigging diesel heater on and that woke me up again so he woke me up a fire for a piss and then he's woke me up again with his diesel heater so i think i'm gonna have to get me one and get one sorted in here we're on site massive <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say a massive thanks, it's just a picture on it, it's funny. Yeah, so I'm going to say a massive thanks to Dave, he's, uh, he's a top lad. Um, go and check his channel out if you're not already. Um, and he's got loads more to come on his van as well, so that'd be good. For me, I've got this week off work, and I'm going to get all this sorted. So, hopefully by the time we do the next video, I should at least have some units in here. So anyway, I want to say thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.